Welcome to another episode, or technically the first episode, of Artistic Blessings with Sean. That's me. So, I hope neither none of us get confused with the name change. Same art, same artist, different name. I'm glad you're still here to join me on this journey of artistic discovery. So, I had a viewer ask me about making a video where I mix my paints. Um, so I thought, sure, why not? I apparently haven't done that before, although I talk about it. And so I, that's what we're gonna do today is we're gonna mix paints. And so the first thing I wanna do is tell you that this works no matter what acrylic paints you're using. So it doesn't matter what brand, but the Tix Basic, Artist Loft, and Folk Art. I use Deco Art Metallics. I have regular Deco Arts Crafting Acrylics, Amsterdam, the Artist Law Flow. Okay, guys, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what kind of container it came in. It doesn't matter what brand it is. It doesn't matter if it's a metallic or if it's a matte, right? I don't care if it's transparent or opaque. It doesn't matter. I mix my paints, okay, and this is how I do it, Sean, over here with Artistic Blessings. This is how Sean does it, okay? And I do it the same no matter what the paint is I'm painting, and it doesn't matter what technique I'm using it for. So whether I'm doing um, a Dutch pour with a blow dryer or I'm doing something on my coasters for my tiles and spinning it out on my spinner, or if I'm tilting it off because I've done a ribbon pour or a flip cup or a split cup or a wandering straight pour, it doesn't matter. I, this is not anybody else or maybe not anybody else in the fluid art world. This is how I do it. Okay, so that's what I'm sharing. Okay, I do it the same no matter what I'm doing. So in addition to paint, there are some things you need. Um, I use Floetrol, Flood brand Floetrol. Now I am in the United States. I have tried other mediums. I tried glue, I tried, um, I think it was a Liquitex Basics pouring medium. I didn't like it. It just didn't give me the same, everything that I wanted in my art. Okay, so this is, again, this is trick about how I do it. So paint, the Floetrol. This is a digital kitchen timer, okay? I've got mine covered with, um, I mean, it's not really a saran wrap. What is it called? A uh, press and seal it's so that it sticks to it. Tucks up. It just helps keep me clean, right? Because I'm messy. Everybody knows that by now. Um, something to mix it in. I used to mix it in my bottles, I will tell you that, but I found that I had, that it, I was still getting little clumps of the paint. The paint wasn't mixing well, um, no matter how much I shook it. So I do mix it in a measuring cup. I use a larger cup for my Floetrol because I need to uh, pour that first. You also need water. I just use old tap water, the same water I drink. Um, nothing special about that, not distilled or anything. And hold on, I of course forgot something at the table. Oh, also a stick, a larger craft stick. I you, do reuse mine for all kinds of stuff. When I'm done, I wipe them off. I can use either end of this, it won't matter because it's dry. Um, give me one second, I need to grab my strainer. I'll be right back. Hold on. Strainer, strainer, strainer. Where did my strainer go? Hold on. It was right here on the table <laughs> the whole time. So messy and a little blind. Okay. So this is my strainer. Now. I know a lot of people in the fluid art world just take a piece of pantyhose and wrap it, 
and put it over the top with rubber band. I tried that. It just came out too slow for me. I'm a very impatient person. I mean, ask anybody that knows me. So take the big tip. I use a strainer and then I wash my strainer out. All right, so I'm gonna adjust the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing because somebody asked me what I do. So this is, if you want to fast forward through this, you go for it. Um, I'm gonna adjust the camera a little bit. There we go. Um, so this is, this is just flow troll. There's nothing else in here. Like I said, this is a lot faster for me than doing it the other way. Okay. And usually if I'm going to mix paint, I mix lots of paint. Okay. Now, you might ask, why should we do that to our flow troll? And by the way, shake it up first. I did that off camera. Sorry, I shook it up. I don't know if you can see the little lumps in there. I know lumps in there and there'll be stringy things. And that happens. It just does. And you don't want that to get in your paint. It still occasionally gets a little in there and then I gotta pull it out, but that's okay. All right, so I have moved it over the side. So this is now strained flow troll that I have. I move my container flow troll out of the way. I have this. I have my lovely little kitchen timer and pick the paint that I'm gonna mix for starters. And I'm gonna mix for you guys. Um, I d this is uh, Deep Violet by Liquitex Basics. I need to add another purple to my <laughs> collection because you know, I just don't have enough already made. So I'm gonna set this on my little timer. Let me, or scale, it's not a timer. I don't know why I'm calling it a timer. It's a scale. I know it's a scale. Um, now, I'll also let you guys know, um, I learned how to mix paints from Canela Sirocco. Now she does hers in the bottles, uh, but she, and, um, but the, the recipe that I use is the recipe she uses for her Dutch pours. I use it for everything because I'm lazy and I want it to always always be ready for me. All right, so I'm gonna turn that on with this on it, wait for it to clear. I measure in grams, and I gotta try to read this while I'm over here. Got it looking at you. You guys can't read that, and you know, um, I don't know how much I'm gonna do. Oh, yeah, that's 42. 40. 43, whatever. Okay, so that's 43. Um, if you need to write it down so you can remember, sometimes I need to do that. It's 43, help me remember that. So the paint is 43, so one part paint. So you're with me. Then we're gonna add, so then we hit the tear button so that it goes back to zero. Okay, so that was 43. We need two parts flow troll. So 43 times two is 86. So we're gonna add flow troll until it says 86. Oops. And 82. 84. 86. Okay. Well, I don't know if you guys can hear all the cicadas and the storm outside or not. I Kind of like it. All right, before I add my water, I go ahead and mix the paint with the flow troll. And I do that because it just seems to the, the paint breaks down better um, so that we don't wind up with the lumps I was talking about. And so I mix that up really good. Make sure you scrape the sides. Scrape your stick off the side, because stuff sticks to that too. Now, I have also found, I don't, know, see if, I don't know how well you guys can see in here. I'll scrape it against the edge, just to kind of help make sure that I get the little lumps. Now, I want it mixed well before I add my water in, okay? So, Floetrol is just a paint conditioner. Um, I will tell you, you will get cells using the American Floetrol. Um, 
So if you are someone who's not real big on the cells, maybe you want to use a different medium. Now, I will tell you, um, there, there's a reason why I can use the exact same recipe for every paint that I mix. It's because I'm using my kitchen scale, okay? So with the paints, you always are gonna measure by weight because it takes into account the different densities of the different brands and metallics and opaques because the paint um, has different weights. And so by measuring it by weight, that's how you get that same consistency. I'm not doing, I'm not spending my time doing drip tests or anything. I am the mother of 10 children, although the majority of them are grown and gone, so I now have six grandchildren. You know, I also have my mother and my mother-in-law and my husband who live with me, a couple of teenagers. You know, um, yeah. I like to paint. Mixing the paint is nice, but that's not why I'm here. All right, so now I didn't do the math, so I'm gonna have to pause the camera and do the math and come right back because the water that we use is three fourths of the amount of paint. All right, so it was 43 grams of paint. So three fourths of that is gonna be, oh, that's, that's pretty easy math actually, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that's gonna be about 30, so it's 30 grams, 31, 30 and a half, okay? So we're gonna hit the tear button again so it goes back to zero and we're going for 30. So pour that in. 15, eight, yep. Sometimes it takes a little bit for the scale to catch up. And so you want to give it just a little bit and then pull back when it gets closer. It's 28 and Nine. Thirty. Okay. If it's off by just a gram or so, you know, that's okay because the slight difference in consistencies also helps with some of those cells because it, help, it affects how the weights of, of things. So it's okay. All right. So now we're going to mix that up. I'm just going to stir that until it's all the same consistency. So I don't have all the little lines in it. Um, you, know, you see them straggling around. We want um, good consistency. Now, if I'm doing this because I'm gonna use it right now on a painting and I'm gonna need a lot of paint because it's the background paint, you know, the, the flood coat as we like to call it. Um, then I'll just leave it right here in this. But typically I add it to a bottle and I have to think about, about how much, how big a bottle do I need? Okay. Um, that might fit in there. So this is a lowly Vefi bottle. The lowly Vefi bottles are fine. You know, I like them. You can squeeze them. They're a little harder. Um, I think these bottles are fine. You can just pick them up at the dollar store, Walmart, or whatever. You know, just whichever one you like. I lose the caps on these. <laughs> so I only brought one of those. These have the screw tops on them and they come in different sizes. So um, they're fine. All right. Now let's see how good I am at. Uh, Pouring this in the bottle. Do, 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 do. You know, if you need to use a funnel, use a funnel. I have been blessed that most of the time I don't need it. Now watch, now that I said that, I'm gonna spill it everywhere. Oh, oh, I'm doing pretty good here. Okay, now. I do not like to waste paint. So all this, like I'm not calling that done. I'm going in there and I'm scraping those, all those edges and, oops, get that 
paint. order to be nice to your pipes and your plumbing, I do suggest that before you rinse this out, you take paper towels and, and wipe that out. This is pretty good right here. I'm gonna just get that edge real quick. And the top on, I will grab my label maker wherever it is and I'll stick a label on here. And it'll go in the drawer with the rest of my paints. So there you have it. That's how I, Sean, um, mix my paints. So there you have it. Thanks for joining me on the journey. Don't forget to like it, subscribe, share, comment. Tell me what you want to know. What, what, what are your questions? Because I started this YouTube channel so that other people would understand really the journey. Um, I was one of those people that I was watching YouTube, was watching other people do this, and I thought, oh, I could do that. And so this journey is really about what it's like when that is what you do. And it's about helping each other out and uh, blessing lives. So you have a great day. Until next time.